Hello, 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 everybody! Welcome back to the 2003 Kaylee competition. We're looking at question number 11, the very first question in part B. And it says, let n equal 10 to the power of 3, plus 10 to the power of 4, plus 10 to the power of 5, plus 10 to the power of 6, 10 to the, uh, 10 to the power of 7, plus 10 to the power of 8, plus 10 to the power of 9. The sum of the digits of n is... Okay. So some of you out there might be able to do this in your head. Each of these numbers uh, is a power of 10. So each of them has their own uh, place. If you think about place values, the units, the tens, the hundreds, and so forth. So we've got one thing in the thousands, one thing in the ten thousands, and so on. Each one of them is going to contribute a single one for their digit. And there will be some zeros left over. If we count how many powers of 10, since none of them are the same power, none of them will add up or anything, each one's going to contribute exactly one one. And so if we just count up the powers of 10, we'll count up how many ones we have, and that's number uh, that's going to be the sum of the digits, because the number of ones, you just have ones and zeros for your digits. So I notice that I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I'm going to have seven ones and three zeros, so my answer will be E7. However, if you didn't just jump to that, of course, we can always write this number out. Uh, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. These are the numbers I'm going to add up. 1 million, that's, so that's 10 to the 6. And now we've got 10 to the 7. 10 to the 8, and 10 to the 9, which is 1 billion. So we got nine zeros. So this is going to be the number n here. And if we just add up, well, there's, we add up the units columns. So there's 0 and nothing to carry over. Same with the 10s, same with the 100s. You can also grab your calculator and do this. For the 1000s, there's 1, 1, and then a whole bunch of zeros. So we got a 1 there, 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 and a 1 there. And if we just need to... Add up the digits, 0 plus 0 plus 0, plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, we get 7, which, as we already said, is E. Okay? So that's going to be our answer to question 11. I'll see you in the next video for question 12.